In this video, I'm just gonna be showing you how to do the equivalent of a VLOOKUP in Excel, like I'm showing on screen, but in R using the left join function, which can be found in the library dplyr. So without further ado, let's head over to R Studio. So I'm just gonna quickly go over what I'm gonna be covering in this video. First thing I'm gonna do is install two data sets, both on the same file, but in the Excel file with two different tabs. And then I'm gonna install dplyr, load in dplyr. Then I'm gonna show you how to join both tables together. And then I'm gonna show you how to do that with cases where you have a different title in the columns that you want to link up. So I'm gonna be changing the name and then showing you how to pull that information through. And then I'm gonna show you how to remove any additional columns that you no longer need. So first, let's kick off with loading in the two files that we need. I'm gonna be loading in one that's gonna be the full data. And then I've got another one that is gonna be using the location to pull through additional columns. So if we highlight and run, so then we'll have our two tables over here to open. So if we just view them, we have our main data set here. And then what we're gonna do is then add this table with those three columns onto the end here using location. And as I mentioned, we have the same name in this particular table, location and location. So you can see how that operates. So now what we need to do is install dplyr, highlight and run. And then once you've installed dplyr, then you can load the library and then highlight and run. And now you have all those loaded in. Now we can get started on doing our VLOOKUP. So to explain what I've done here, all I've done is capture what I want to call my new table. Then I've put in the arrow and the hyphen to then give us name of the data set that we're gonna be using, which is the one here. And then we're gonna pipe in left join and then in brackets, we're gonna use the data set that we want to actually get the information from, which is that one there. And then we add a comma, and then we need to tell it which column we're gonna look up by. So in this case, we're using location. And then once you've done that, then you do close bracket. Then all you need to do is highlight and run. And then you've got your new table with the additional columns added, all using location here. to Pull through the information from here that one, that one, that one, into here. So that's fairly straightforward when you have the same column name on both tables. Now, what happens if you suddenly have one table has country as the location and the other table has location as the location? So what I'm gonna do is change the column title on the age pop data set for this column title to become country. And I do this by, again, using another dplyr function. All I do is set what I'm gonna call my new table and then do the arrow and the hyphen, select the data set that I want to manipulate, do the pipe function, and then we use the function called select. And then in the brackets, we're gonna say for the column, we want to change location to be the new name country and then comma and then everything. And what everything does means it leaves everything else as it is. So then you end up getting the same table just with the change of that column name. So if we run this, we have our new table, which is exactly the same amount of rows and columns as our previous table, which was this one. But now same table, but with the change of country there. Now, if I try to do what we done here originally, it won't find location in the table if I had that data set age pop country in here. So, if we try and run this now, we'll get an error because it doesn't find the location. And that's why you need to use some additional logic to group what the columns are. And the only slight adjustment, as you'll notice here, is instead of it just being by equals location, we have by equals C for the column name. And then in brackets, you're saying which ones you want to match to which. So we want location from this table to VLOOKUP or join, in this case, with country. So if we click these off, 
So just like what I've done before, I've created another table. This time I put a three at the end of the data. So we have our additional table. And then again, the arrow hyphen, the data set we're going to put the data onto, left underscore join function, open bracket. And then we're gonna use the new table that I created with country instead of location as the column name, which is age pop country, and then a comma, and then by equal sign C open bracket, and then in quotation marks location and then equal sign in quotation marks country and then close bracket twice. The reason being is this is one bracket and that's the other. And if we run this now, you'll see this time it works. And as you can see, we now have, even though we used country to pull up this information, we still have the same information that's come through and it's exactly the same as that one there. Now, one of the handy things of when you do a VLOOKUP is that you can do one column at a time, but then also that means it does take a little while for you to do loads of columns, but say if you only just wanted to pull in one column. So in this case, we now have our table here and we only want the continent. So we want to remove the median age and the population. So all we would need to do is set what we're going to call our new table. And this time I'm going to do it slightly different without the piping. You can do it this way, but I'm going to show you how to do it. If you put the actual data set that you want to do the change in within the select function. So again, we're using the select function to do any sort of changes to your data set based on columns. And here we are going to use select open bracket, the data set you want to make the change in a comma, and then we're going to be using basically a hyphen, but it's basically saying we want to remove. And then just like we did here, where we were focusing on where the column names were, we're now doing the same. And we're going to say, please remove population and median age. And then if we run this, we'll have a whole new table that no longer has population, median age, and only has the addition of continent added in. So if we highlight and run, we now have our new table here. And as you can see, it's got two less variables, the two less columns, and this is how it looks. So thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And please leave a comment or any questions you might have that you would like me to answer. And as always, until next time.